Hello, this is an informal video covering the new question model for Course Builder 1.5. Starting from 1.5 with questions, for example, you don't have to go into an assessment and create an assessment specific question and then go into activities and create activity specific questions. Instead, you create generalized questions and then bring, in, bring them into either an activity or an assessment or both. Also in 1.5, there's a WYSIWYG um, question editor so you no longer have to put it in JavaScript code to write questions so I'm going to go and create a new question I'll go to the dashboard I'll go to assets and we see these two new sections question bank and question groups as I create questions question bank will be populated question groups is basically you can group a series of questions and then bring them together um, as a singular entity into either an activity or an assessment as opposed to bringing them in serially. So I'm going to go to another course where they created some questions. And we see um, there's two questions here that I've already created. Let's go into one of them. And so this is a short answer type question. Question is obviously where you write uh, the question itself. Description, this is mandatory, and this helps identify this particular question when you're actually trying to bring it in into an, ex into an activity or an assessment. Hint, uh, this is optional, and this is if you feel that your users are going to get stuck, you can put in hint text here. Feedback, this is if your users get a question wrong, you can um, put in optionally put in text here to help guide them towards the correct answer. Scoring, these are the relative weights. For example, by default it's one, and for this question we put in, left it at its default. But let's say you can make this uh, score two and have all other questions one, for example. Grading, this is the type uh, of response, and we see there's three, and I've left it at the default because that's, exact, that's what it is, case and sensitive string match. Response is uh, obviously it's required and it's the answer itself. Feedback is it, once uh, the right uh, answer is shown, you can give further feedback uh, regarding that, that answer. So let's say we just created this question, so I'll save out of that. I'm going to go into another question. Uh, this question shows an example of a multiple choice. Again, we see, here we see description is mandatory. So with multiple choice, you can have one correct answer or multiple correct answers. Optionally, you can assign uh, weights to, to each answer choice. For example, let's say, for example, the most correct answer uh, would give, you'd give two points, and a semi-correct answer, you'd get one point, and every other answer, you'd give zero points. And that's also available when there's multiple correct answers or just one. You can also optionally have feedback for each answer choice. I'll leave that for blank, leave that blank. And let's say I just created this question, so I'll save out of that. Let's quickly go and uh, create an assessment and a, an activity and bring these questions in. So this assessment we'll call. Now I'm going to bring in one of the answers. I'll go to the rich text, go to the toolbox. I'm going to, I'm going to choose answer uh, component type question. And see here is, we see the questions that we wrote in, in our answer bank. And I'm going to bring in binary search. That icon represents our question. Now let's go see the assessment that we created. Here it is, binary search. And there we have our question that we wrote. Let's uh, create an activity and bring in the multiple choice. And we're gonna do the same thing as we did uh, with assessments. Again, the component type that we want to bring in is question. 
and this time we want to bring in capitals. Let's go see that. And here they are. That's it for the new question model in Course Builder 1.5. Thank you.